What's going on guys? It's been a while since I've recorded any kind of video over here on this YouTube, but I recently got the Blackstone 2 that you can see behind me here. And uh, let me flip the camera around. Here we go. It's in it's in pretty good shape, but there's some, uh, there's some rust and stuff on it that I need to clean off and just kind of generally clean it up and get it pretty good. But you know, the main thing we're worried about here is this this cooktop, this griddle top for it. You can see there's quite a bit of uh, surface rust on there. Probably nothing that I couldn't get off with just a little bit of elbow grease, some steel wool, and uh, you know, a little bit of oil or something like that. But I wanna do, I think I, I think I wanna be a little bit fancier. I think I wanna do electrolysis. I've never actually tried to do any electrolysis before. So I've been working on today trying to figure out since I've never done it, I don't have any equipment for it. I don't have a manual battery charge or anything like that. And I don't even know if I'm gonna have anything that's gonna be big enough to put that entire griddle top in. So we're gonna have to look around and see what I can see. Since this is indeed pretty big, I think maybe, let's walk back this way through the crowded garage here. I think I could empty out this plastic trash bin here. We've just got charcoal and stuff stored in it right now empty that out. I think I can put the solution and everything in there. I think it'll be just about the right size to get most of it in there. And then I'll just need to hook up the leads and stuff like that. So pretty typically when you're doing this electrolysis, you know, you have, it's pretty typically done with a manual battery charger. That's probably like about the best way to do it. I don't really have one of those and I don't really want to spend money. So I'm trying to figure out how I can do this with stuff I've got laying around. And I've got a ton of electronics laying around. I've got some old TVs, some old laptops and stuff like that. So I found this it's an old Vizio AC, you know, converter to power a TV. And uh, I think I can use this to run that electrolysis in. I'm not for certain, but here's the here's the specs on it. Um, you can see it's going to put out 4.74 amps, which is a little bit high, I think. People recommend, from what I've been reading, like 2 amps. But I've also seen a guy, he, he ran like some smaller tools on pretty much a very, very similar AC-DC adapter over on YouTube. Not saying it's right, but he did it and it, it came out all right. So what I'm thinking is I might use this to run it. I'll have to get me some alligator clips though, because I don't, I seem to not have any alligator clips like I thought I did. But anyways, um, you can read this little deal right here on the back of the, let me see if that'll focus. This little symbol right here tells you that the outer jacket, the outer sleeve on the plug is the negative side and the inner pen or the inner there is actually not a pen on this one. It's like some little contacts, but the inner part of that plug is the positive. So what I've done here is I've taken a, um, you just see like a, I've got like a steel screw or I mean a nail there wedged into the plug that should be making, it's about the same size, should be making pretty good contact with that positive terminal inside. And then we've got the outer sleeve here, which is the negative. So what I'm thinking is we take this, we plug, not, we don't plug it in yet, but we'll get everything set up. I need to get some alligator clips and run some wire and we'll hook the, uh, we'll hook the stuff up to the sacrificial anode and that griddle top appropriately with this. And then, you know, once we got everything set up and we got the, the baking soda in the water and all that, I can run it. And that's, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that'll work. Okay. So I changed my plans just a little bit. We're going to use one of these big, like roll off trash cans from the city but i've got it all suspended up here and then we'll just uh you know i'll use my wire here we'll charge that and then hopefully that will work for charging the actual griddle top but what i gotta do right now is i've got to figure out how to get that bar out of the side there i don't want that in there and also water is going to run out of that if i don't plug it so i gotta figure out how to get that out of there i'll probably just take a dremel and get the rivets off the front all right there we go Got the holes on the front masked off, got that bar removed. Got it taped off inside here as well. Now I just need to clean it out, get everything mounted and wired, and we'll see what happens. All right, I think I've got everything suspended in here now and set up. We're gonna see how this goes. I just gotta fill it, add the, uh, the baking soda, and fill her up with water. But we've got our rebar anodes here. That's kind of wired, probably kind of badly across the top here, but I ran out of wire, so. It comes over here, joins that one, and then, uh, you know, we got our uh, got our leads down here that I'll hook up to the laptop charger, and we'll see what it does. Hopefully it works. All right, I've begun filling. I actually already put a bag of baking soda in there. 
before I check the water tightness of this. So I hope it all doesn't run out. But I'm gonna get it all filled up, at least, you know, submerge this. And uh, yeah, hopefully it just gets uh, what little rust there is off there. It's really not a lot, but I just kind of wanted to try this out. Science, bitch. Let's hope I don't blow something up. I'm gonna remove the rust off this griddle top. Okay, everything is wired up. We've got solution. Everything's suspended. I've got my wires running under this cover here. So hopefully it stays protected from the elements a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Gonna be ready to fire her up here. Moment of truth. Okay. I plugged it in. Do we see anything happening? Not really. Not a thing. I guess I'll wait a bit. I haven't exploded yet, it's all on. But I can't actually tell that it's doing anything. So I'm not sure if I got it connected well enough. All right, it is on and running i've been checking it for a little bit before i made this clip um really only getting you can see it a little bit there I'm getting some bubbles on the anodes the sacrificial anodes as they call them i'm not really getting much bubbling on the actual griddle top itself and you can't really see it through the muck but it's been running like i don't know 30 minutes an hour something like that and i was able to wipe that with my finger there you can kind of see that cleanish spot kind of right along here on the corner so I, I guess it's working i don't know i guess i'll leave it overnight and we'll see how much it's uh, able to get done i've got both rods on the cook side right now because i figured that's a little more important than the underside though eventually i do want to do that as well if this works we may flip it tomorrow but uh yeah i guess now we just uh we're just gonna wait there's a nice little bubble there it's kind of hard to see on the camera i was hoping i could show it a little bit better but we are finally getting some little tiny bubbles on the actual griddle top itself it's just taking a little bit probably cutting through some old sludge or whatever on it but uh yeah i think it's uh hopefully gonna work okay i just turned it off this ran for about 24 hours, actually developed a little bit of a leak down there on the trash can where the there's a little bar on the front. I think I talked about it in the video already. I plugged that up, not very well, and um, it started leaking. So I had to rig the hose up to drop some water in to keep the water level above the, the piece, actually. But I'm gonna take it out now and uh, give it a clean and see how well this did. I'm, I have no doubt I'm probably going to have to get some you know, get a wire wheel and some steel wool and stuff to get some of the stuff off, because I really don't think this is done very well. We'll see, though. Uh, I have my doubts, though. All right, here we go. That's what it looks like after I just pulled it out. Still quite a bit of surface rust, but with any luck, maybe it'll wipe off fairly easily. It's not doing it with my hand, but maybe we can give it a good scrub and get, get the rest of this off. I don't know. Like I said, I have my doubts, so I don't think it did very much. But at any rate, maybe it's loosened it up some, and I can get most of it off by hand now. All right, got my wire brush here. Let's give it a little, little scrape and see what happens somewhere. It's coming off pretty good, actually. I think it, I think it loosened it pretty good. At any rate, that actually looks halfway decent. Let me get a towel and we'll brush that off and see how that looks. All right, I just got a little rag here. Let's wipe that. Look at that. That is actually not bad. That's pretty good. There's still some darker places, but 
a little bit of polishing with some wire brushes or maybe some steel wool. I think, uh, I think we can get this pretty darn clean. I'm pretty thrilled with how that came out. So there you have it. First time electrolysis on a uh, Blackstone 2 griddle top here. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and I'll try and show you guys an after and then we'll wrap the video up. All right, and there we go. After a little bit of manual scrubbing, you can still see there's like still some carbon buildup. I'm gonna assume that's what a lot of this is, but all of the rust colored stuff is gone. There's still some spots that are built up from uh, me wiping it down, but I'm gonna rinse it off and then re-season it. And I think we'll have us a nice functional griddle top. All right, and now it is time for the reveal after three rounds of seasoning. Electrolysis plus seasoning. Here we go. Nice and shiny. That's not exactly the most even coating I've ever done, but I think she'll cook food. I think we'll call this a success.